Hello and welcome to this presentation on the delivery of telehealth services to the families enrolled in New Brunswick's preschool autism program. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned life as we knew it upside down. Nothing is as it was and we are all adjusting to a new normal. You may be asking yourself, what does this new normal look like for the preschool autism program? Autism Intervention Services has started using a different service delivery model. Children with autism spectrum disorder and their families continue to receive support, but in a way that protects both families and agency personnel. This new service delivery model is called telehealth. The Department of Education and Early Childhood Development supports the agency's shift to telehealth, which will keep individuals safe while continuing to meet your child and family's needs. Together, the department and the agencies are working on facilitating and strengthening the offer of telehealth services to your family as an alternative to the in-person intervention you received prior to the state of emergency. Telehealth is the use of different communication technologies, such as telephones, computers, and mobile devices, to access health services remotely. Telehealth allows your team to work with you and your family through technology instead of in person, it is a convenient way for your family to receive support remotely while keeping everyone safe by minimizing in-person interactions. The supports and services provided by preschool autism agencies in New Brunswick are based on scientific evidence. Agencies in New Brunswick provide intervention services based on the principles of applied behavior analysis, a science that is well supported by many years of research, and that is the current best practice for supporting preschool children with autism spectrum disorder. There is a growing body of evidence that supports the use of telehealth services in various fields, including applied behavior analysis. Studies of parent and caregiver coaching through ABA telehealth services show that it is an effective way to coach parents and caregivers to use ABA strategies to support their child. Examples include supporting parents with implementing strategies to address challenging behaviors, teaching parents strategies to support their child's new or emerging skills, and helping parents use strategies to help their child structure their time. This means that some of the great evidence-based supports that your child's team has been offering you in person can now also be offered via telehealth and can have great outcomes. Not only can telehealth services have positive outcomes, but in these current times where in-person services are not possible, it is a key service to support your child's continued success. During COVID-19, in order to ensure everyone's safety, the supports and strategies provided by Autism Intervention Services will look different from what you are used to. Let's take a minute to look at these differences, as well as some similarities in service delivery since the public health measures related to COVID-19 were put in place. Prior to COVID-19, agency personnel delivered face-to-face -face intensive applied behavioral analysis intervention to your child. Clinical supervision was also provided in person at the location of intervention. The focus of the intervention and supervision was on teaching and strengthening new skills, as well as decreasing challenging behaviors. Your child was the primary participant in this service delivery model. As a parent or caregiver, you participated in collaborating with assessments, development and delivery of the intervention programs, relying on open and ongoing communication between yourself and your child's intervention team in order to best meet your needs. Both intervention and supervision were highly individualized to your child and family. Since the public health measures resulted in direct intervention with your child being placed on hold, agency personnel has been providing non-intensive services consisting of consultations, support and problem solving. Coaching and support have primarily focused on promoting your family's well-being and safety while decreasing risks. Through open and ongoing communication with you, your team has highly individualized its recommendations, goals, or suggested strategies to meet your child and family's particular needs. In this new service delivery model, you, the parent or caregiver, are the primary participant. Prior to the arrival of COVID-19, Intervention was provided directly to your child by a behavior interventionist and supervision was offered to you through lead therapists, behavior consultants, and clinical supervisors. Since then, most of the intervention occurs between yourself and your clinical team, not directly with your child. Prior to the change in the service delivery model, intervention was provided in your home, 
in an early learning and child care facility or at the agency. Since that time, services are being provided through telehealth via telephone or computer or yet another type of electronic device. Whereas intervention used to consist of up to 20 hours per week of direct intervention with your child, focusing on many goals at a time, now through a consultation process with you, one or two current priority goals are targeted to work on. There is no direct intervention being provided by a behavior interventionist. How often you and your clinical team meet through telehealth varies depending on your individual family needs. So although you can see there are some changes in the agency service delivery model, what remains the same is its commitment to providing evidence-based, individualized and meaningful supports to your child and family. Here are some things you may need to receive telehealth services. A telephone, an internet connection, an electronic device with a video camera and a microphone, such as a desktop computer, a laptop computer, a tablet or a smartphone. You may not need all of the equipment listed above. Telehealth services does not mean services via video conferencing only. There are various other ways to offer telehealth services. Please reach out to your team to discuss your options so that you can choose the one that is best for you and your child. Communication is key. Since your intervention team is not working directly with your child, communication is more important than ever. The information you share will inform the basis of the plans and recommendations set forth for your child. Try to be open with your team about the successes and challenges of your day-to-day -day life so that they can help you work on relevant goals. If you are new to video conferencing, let your team know. Your involvement in intervention is likely to be very different than it used to be, and that may be uncomfortable for you. Keep in mind that the other team members understand the situation and everyone is adapting to a new way of doing things. Receiving services through telehealth is meant to help you and not add any extra stresses or pressures. Make sure to talk to your team about the things that are most important to your day-to-day -day life now. If you do not have the equipment you need, speak to your team and they will try to do their best to help you. Try to plan for a time where you can focus on the session. This may mean planning a bit of time for your child to be engaged in an activity or interacting with another member of your household. It may be better to have several short meetings where you can fully focus rather than a long meeting that may be hard for your family to attend. Your child's team is committed to supporting your family and will work with you to help you adjust to telehealth. The Department of Education and Early Childhood Development and Autism Intervention Services recognize that these may be difficult times for your family. Your family's well-being and safety is our top priority. We encourage you to take part in these telehealth services at a level that is comfortable and convenient for you. As the province moves through the next stages, the services offered will adjust, likely a few times. Over the upcoming weeks and months, the department and agency will be committed to helping families stay informed, maintain their well-being, and continue to adjust to this new normal. Stay tuned for additional resources related to receiving preschool autism services as the province gradually moves towards a reopening of services.